It's me. <laughs> no, no, I, I know that you're back. That's why I told that you're back. That is it. Huh? So yes, take the bag and come here. Is that right? So, so what, he, what at, at the right moment, uh, what what is your main main thrust? Actually, I work partly in organic synthesis and also uh, chemical biology. That's really good. Uh -huh. And then uh, you definitely you can understand that I use your cross coupling reaction and uh -huh. various to modify analog making several types uh -huh. of analogs. Uh -huh. I see. And I know yeah. that compound binds to a particular protein, okay. uh -huh. particularly which actually over express in cancers. Uh -huh. and yeah. Then like uh, uh, chemical biology. Is that right? Yeah. And then my lab I have set up a Uh-huh. Become broadening and then deepening. Yes. <laughs> and so yeah. when I teach for cross coupling reactions, yeah. and your methods as well as get food catalyst as well as book walls catalyst, all yeah. I like, put together. Yeah. And almost oh, Moscow meeting? Yes. Yeah. And you know, we uh, we met long time ago. Uh, you know, this uh, Harvard C. Brown came for a Mark Distinguished Lecture. Uh, this is a, during 80s. 80s. And you were, uh, I think that time you were in Syracuse. Huh? Brown came. No, in the US. A year. And, uh, yeah. and then I was 40 then. <laughs> yeah. And then. Uh, I think uh, you came to Indian Institute of Science in 2013. Uh -huh. I, yeah. I lost your yeah. talk. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, then we found out that Toyoki Kunataki, our common friend. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so which, where, where were you with him? I spent, he, he invited me for a, as a visiting professor in Riken. Riken. Where Noyor is the president. Ah. proceedings. 
We are all very honored and privileged to have amongst us Professor Aichi Nageshi from Purdue University. Professor Nageshi has been bestowed the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 2010 for his groundbreaking contributions on palladium catalyzed cross couplings in organic synthesis. Let us start today's proceedings by inviting Professor Shantanu Bhattacharya, Director ISCS, on stage. Please. I would now like to request Professor Aichi Nigeshi to please come up on stage. I would now like to invite our students, Nivedika and Sulakshana, to please come and formally welcome our director and our distinguished speaker. you to kindly inaugurate the ceremony by addressing ICS and introducing our honorable speaker. Thank you very much. Good morning everyone. I am very delighted to welcome Professor Ayachi Nageshe to our institute who had kindly consented to deliver the Sivi Raman Memorial Lecture today. Indian Association for the Cultivation of Science, that is known as IACS, is 140-year-old premier research center for chemistry, physics, materials, and biology, funded by the Department of Science and Technology of the Government of India. And this is an institution which is credited with the first Nobel Prize in Science from Asia while working in India by Professor C. V. Raman. I am particularly honored to introduce today's speaker to this great institution. And, but before I do that, I'll just briefly tell you about the Indian Association for the Cultivation of Science, which is popularly known as IACS. I may say that our institute is a legend. It is a legend of scientific attainments. It is a legend of creativity in the natural sciences, and moreover, it also represents an epitome of the nationalist movement that happened during British rule period in India, and that is popularly known as Renaissance in Bengal, this part of the country. And all of these were envisioned by the founder, Dr. Mahendralal Sarkar. The mandate of institute tells it all. For the last 140 years, this institution has tried to attain this mandate, and we are continuing to do so, and being the oldest institution of its kind in Asia. This has been the cradle of many scientific discoveries, including the Raman effect. The panorama of scientific scenario has greatly changed over the years. The thrust areas have undergone a metamorphosis, but the conceptual underpinning of the basic sciences still continues. And of late, the activity of basic research have been in intricately intertwined with technology the world over. And we are determined to carry forward this change in the tradition, for it is through technology that science can actually reach the masses in our country and afar. The changing times have also inculcated a culture of cross-departmental and interdisciplinary research, and we have made forays into multiple new frontier areas of science and technology. Our institute hosts several endowment lectures by the international leaders of science. The Siviraman Memorial Lecture 
is the most prestigious visiting lectureship instituted in the name of the Nobel laureate Sir C. V. Raman. Meant for the students, teachers and researchers of the city and its neighborhood. The distinguished scholars who have visited and delivered this lecture in the past include Roald Hoffman, Ahmed Zuel, Gerald Tooft, Henry Kagan, David Gross, CNR Rao, Henry Sheffer, Warner, Kurt Selmik, Martin Quack, etc. In nature, organic chemistry takes place in myriad forms and is the basis of life itself using the stable base of carbon. Synthesis of organic chem compounds has opened doors in many areas of science from the pharmaceutical industry to modern electronics. And I'd say Negeshe has been a researcher at Purdue University for more than 30 years. In the year 2010, he received the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for developing metal-based reactions called palladium catalyzed cross-coupling that allow for easy and efficient synthesis of complex organic compounds. In Changchu, the capital of what was then Japanese control, Manchukuo, now called Jilin province in China. He earned his Bachelor of Science degree at the University of Tokyo in 1958 and worked for a short time at the Teiji Chemical Company before moving overseas to the United States to study towards his PhD degree. At the University of Pennsylvania, under the supervision of Professor Alan Day. In 1962, while studying his doctoral research at the University of Pennsylvania, he met Purdue chemistry professor Herbert C. Brown, a pioneer in synthetic organic chemistry already. Nageshi admired Brown's research and predicted Brown will change the whole world of organic chemistry and that's why I came to Purdue. And then he chose Brown as his mentor and Nageshi arrived in the West Lafayette as a postdoctoral researcher in 1966. After a five-year stint at Purdue, Professor Nagasi moved to Syracuse University in New York where he became professor in 1979. And in the year 1999, Nageshi was named inaugural Herbert C. Brown Distinguished Professor of Chemistry. Dr. Nageshi has won several awards, authored multiple books, and published over 400 research papers. Among numerous other international awards, he was awarded the Japanese Order of Culture and named Person of Cultural Merit in 2010. This is Japan's highest cultural honor, and also he is a recipient of Royal Society of Chemistry Sir Edward Franklin Prize Lectureship. And of course, because of his distinguished contribution, his alma mater, University of Pennsylvania, has awarded him an honorary Doctor of Science degree. Apart from his erudition and exceptional ability as a scientist, Professor Negesi is also a great singer and also an avid golfer. And he golfed in the Sony Open Pro-Am in Hawaii, one of the PGA Tour tournament. And I am delighted to invite Professor Negesi, who will deliver today the Raman Memorial Lecture entitled Transition Metal Catalysis for a Sustainable and Prosperous World. May I now invite Professor Negesi to deliver the lecture. 